If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Today I want to take some time out to do some upgrades and to handle an update. So the first thing that we're going to update today is the Laravel shopping cart. There was some confusion as to whether or not it was going to be upgraded to Laravel 9 or if it was going to be compatible with it. A couple of days ago, they have released the new version, which is compatible with Laravel 9. And to be honest, that was the only real issue that we had with it. And so we were using my repo. So what I want to do is I want to convert us back to this version and whether or not you're using Laravel 8, Laravel 9, this one will be the active version. The reason that I want to change it is because this is a proper composer package and uh, my repo isn't. <laughs> I want to make sure that we're all up to date with that. So whether or not you're installing it or you updated it with us, the installation will work the same for you. If we head over to the text editor, we can open up our composer JSON. And then for here, all we need to do is take out this dev master. And the version that we're going to upgrade it to is 4.1.1, which means that now we can also take out this repository section that we had down here. Let's go ahead into our terminal. And then what we're going to do here is composer update, and then the package name, which is in 99 shopping cart. And then that'll go ahead and update that for us. Okay, so let's go ahead into the browser and make sure that we didn't break anything. Let's try to add something to the cart. Okay, and as you can see here, we have all of our values pretty much set up and ready to go. Secure checkout, and I don't see any errors. Let's double check. Okay, that's just Stripe's warning. Looks good. Fantastic. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to upgrade Tailwind from version 2 to version 3. And this way we'll have the most updated of every package that we are dealing with. So if you started with me and you're coming from Laravel 8 to Laravel 9, this is something that you can do as well. You don't have to necessarily, but if we want our project to be upgraded, this is something that we can add. And I'm really curious to see what the Tailwind updates look like once we start getting into it. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to grab this upgrade packages code right here. And this is just updating the Tailwind CSS to the latest, post CSS to the latest, and auto prefixer to the latest. But we don't have auto prefixer. So this is just going to install it for us. Now I want to shut down the NPM. And in here, I'm going to go ahead and paste in that command. And really all of these uh, little errors that we're getting is from the typography that we didn't bring in. And it's reading it from the old version of Tailwind that we have. So for this, we need to open up our package JSON. Okay, as you can see, it added the auto prefixer here and it updated the Tailwind and the post CSS. So we just need to update the rest of them, which is forms and typography. So if we head down just a little bit further, we're gonna grab this little bit, open that up. And we're using forms, we're using typography. Those are two of the ones that we need to grab. So we're going to grab this typography first. I'm going to paste that in here. Go ahead, press enter and let that run. And the next one we can do is forms. The next thing we, that we need to do for this upgrade is, since it's completely migrated over to the just-in-time engine, we can make some changes to our Tailwind config, which is to completely remove the mode JIT. So from here, I'm going to open up Tailwind config. Now we can get rid of this line entirely. And instead of purge, it used to use purge CSS so that basically when you ran npm run production, it would get rid of all of the classes that you're not using in order to really condense the amount of CSS that's being added to your project. So we're going to go ahead and do as they say with the content. Okay, so now purge is content. And I'm pretty sure everything else is the same. Let's just head down and look. Okay, we're not using dark mode. So it'll be interesting to see. We might add this. I, I'm not 100% sure, but we might add this to our project. Okay, remove variant configuration, which we don't have any. And some other things with the layers. Some of the utility classes have changed names and some things you don't need to use anymore. So transforming. I'll leave links for this in the description along with a playlist so that you can take a look and see what the upgrades include. 
Okay, and that's pretty much it for us. So what we can do now is go ahead and run npm run watch. Okay, great. So we've compiled it down. Let's head over to the browser. We'll go back to the home page and we'll refresh everything. And so it doesn't look like anything's broken. I should probably open this up for errors. Looks good. Let's go ahead and try to check out this page. Doesn't look like anything's changed in here. Go ahead, add to cart. Okay, great. So all of our CSS is still the same. So if I make mistakes along the way with our styling in the future, just know that my code that I'm working off of isn't up to Tailwind version three yet, but our project that we have now is fantastic. If you're enjoying the content, please go ahead and click that like button as it really does help out the channel. I'm going to leave links in the description, including the playlist so that you can catch up on all of the videos in this Laravel e-commerce series. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.